Hey there, um, good afternoon. I'm super excited um, today to give the brewery's um, 2018 um, 12 Days of Christmas series beer a try. This is 11 Pipers Piping. Um, I'm particularly excited about this. Um, first of all, this is a really great series. They've had lots of great stuff. If you know me, you know that Eight Maids Milking was my favorite because milk stouts are in fact the best beer. Um, one of the best beers. Um, but this is a scotch style ale brewed with candy sugar and coriander. So I think it'll be, um, malty. Um, it'll probably have some nice kind of, um, dark sweetness to it. I'm assuming that it's a darker, a dark candy sugar, but, um, I don't know, I suppose. Um, and, uh, coriander will give it a nice spice. Uh, so this bad boy Oh, suitable for aging up to two years. I I guess I'll have to drink this and see if I should get another one. Nonetheless, um, doo -doo. yeah, Belgian candy sugar. It doesn't say darker or, or light, but um, so we're expecting toffee, dried fruit, spicy herbal aroma of coriander. Um, this beer can be is best served at 50 degrees, so this is actually probably a little too cold for it because um, I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. Um, but um, I'm going to drink it anyway, like that. Um, but just know that it would probably benefit a little bit from um, warming and opening the flavors a bit. So you can even pour a big glass and then um, let it sit because this also rings in at a whopping 11% alcohol by volume. Um, and so um, let's see here. I think that's all the important things. Um, I expect this should be pretty darn amazing. Um, whoops, I almost dropped it. I totally almost dropped this big heavy beer on my glass table. Would be sad. Um, okay, so I've been following this series for a while. Um, Eight Maids Milking wasn't my first year, but I honestly don't remember what happened before that. Um, and um, they've had a couple that were barrel aged, um, things that I wasn't super excited about because barrel aging, I don't know, it's more barrel, less beer than my tastes prefer. Um, but this should be amazing. Um, so let's have a look here. So this is a nice, very dark beer actually. I guess there's not really enough sunlight to give it sunlight. Maybe you can see, no. I can see that a little bit of light gets through here. Um, but it's a nice dark beer. It poured heady, um, but it looks like the head dissipates pretty quickly. Um, and I'm expecting that we're going to see some uh, lacing as we move, as I drink down. I think actually this is indicative of that happening um, uh, because of the alcohol content. Um, Smell-wise, it smells like beer. Mmm. Definitely has... Um, Definitely a little alcoholy in the aroma. Um, very malty. Um, wow, pretty alcoholy. Almost overwhelmingly alcoholy, and I'm trying really hard not to get a bad attitude about that because I hope that it doesn't just taste like alcohol when I drink it. Um, but um, I mean, here we are, it is an 11% beer. So, um, I might get a little bit of spice out of this, like, like that dried fruit, um, that the bottle suggested. Um, but let's just dive right in and have a drink. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is definitely an 11% beer. Um, I can taste the alcohol. It's a nice warming that happens all the way down. Um, it has this dark sweetness to it, I think, um, that we're really getting from that Belgian candy sugar. Um, yeah, some dried fruit notes, some maltiness. A little bit of what I'll say reminds me of a barrel aging, um, but this is this is not barrel aged, so it's that kind of really deep port kind of reminiscent flavor that's going on, or brandy reminiscent flavor almost. 
Um, the flavor is somewhat delicate, even though this is a big, heavy hitting beer, which is really interesting and nice. Um, you know, so it's, it kind of reminds me of like a, a juicy red wine almost. Um, and, um, like I said, we're going to see a little bit of that, um, lacing from alcohol content. Um, very, very good beer, very complex. Um, definitely not a, well, actually, I guess I shouldn't speak for everybody, but I would say definitely not a beer, a bottle. Um, what is this? A pint and nine, pint point, a pint and nine, four, um, Definitely not a bottle that I would open and then expect to drink all on my own. Um, so I've poured a second glass here because I've, I have um, recruited my roommate to help me drink this beer. Thank you for your service. Um, so um, delightfully interesting. Um, nice, big, bold, dark beer. Um, lots of like dried, like I said, dried fruit kind of aroma to it, although it does have a pretty strong alcohol aroma. And I'm actually very curious to see if that burns off as the, the beer warms a little bit. Um, I guess we'll have to circle back. Mm. Anyway, this beer smells so great. A little reminiscent of a barrel aging happening in here, although it is not barrel aged, um, but that kind of depth of flavor. Um, and it's pretty amazing. I didn't necessarily pick up coriander. Um, let me actually have another drink. Not a lot of spiciness like I was expecting out of that coriander. Um, so it blends very nicely into this beer. Um, also of note, and I don't, and if I've said this already, then I guess it's worth saying twice. Um, this particular beer can be stored, it says up to two years for aging. And so you want to keep it, um, people actually recommend that you store beer um, upright because when it's down, if it has sediment, it'll settle on the bottom. Um, but um, you can actually circumvent that problem by putting it in your refrigerator uh, a couple of days before you drink it, and then it'll all settle to the bottom. Um, but also, if it pours, if it settles like that on the sides, it's fine. You can actually just reverse the the pour off the other side, and then leave all that sediment in the top in the side of the bottle, and that's fine. Um, but um, these beers are great for um, aging, and um, and then you can. Um, enjoy them again in comparison to um, the New Year's beer um, or if you're so lucky as to get a whole set of these um, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be cool you can compare them across the board um, so there you go the brewery um, putting out stellar beers as usual 11 pipers piping again this is a scotch style ale brewed with Belgian candy sugar and coriander um, ringing in at 11% alcohol. So this is the 2018 12 Days of Christmas Ale series. Um, if you've had it, let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.